Hello everyone. Hi welcome, guys. Welcome back to our channel. We're David and Joan Robinson for any new viewers. Uh, and today we're at Whitewell in Lancashire and we're going to have a go at crossing the River Hodder and these lovely stepping stones. So. Oh, you don't fall. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, you have to get a bit of a rhythm going. <laughs> Hello! Careful! I'm trying not to fall. Yeah, that... This place is a good for a family outdoor day out. Yeah, we should have brought a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> We've only got water. <laughs> Come on, keep coming. <laughs> I don't want to fall because the water is freezing. It will make good video if you fall in. <laughs> Oops. Here's a little time lapse video of me and Joe crossing the River Hodder. We parked our car in front of the inn at Whitewell, and the path down to the river is just to the left, and it's maybe about a two minute walk, but it is a little bit rocky underfoot. The stepping stones are in the village of Whitewell, which is part of the Forest of Bowland in the Ribble Valley in Lancashire. The Forest of Bowland is an area of outstanding natural beauty. The village of Whitewell is made up of Upper and Lower Whitewell. Lower Whitewell is the site of St Michael's a chapel of ease built in the late medieval period and it was built earlier than the year 1400. Just before the Second World War in 1938 the Duchy of Lancaster purchased 6,000 acres from the Boland Forest Estate forming the Whitewell Estate and the surrounding forest has been the hunting ground of kings since the time of William Rufus. So what did you think of the stepping stones, Jo? Yeah, it's really good. I really had a nice time. It was good fun. Do you remember how many stepping stones there were? I do. I counted it. It's a 57 stepping stone. Yeah. Did you see that cute little dog earlier? Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame <laughs> with that dog. Uh, it fell. Yeah, the guy's carrying it. He's got like a little holder for it. And he dropped it in the water. <laughs> I wish we'd have got it on the video. I know. I think the dog was freezing though. <laughs> yeah, I think it was okay. I think it enjoyed it in the end.
We found this tree trunk on the side of the riverbank and it really reminded us of Lord of the Rings in Fellowship of the Rings where the four hobbits are hiding from the black Nazgul riders. We thought it was really cool and especially as J.R.R. Tolkien was known to have stayed in the area uh, to see his son when he was at Stonyhurst College. We thought this could even have been an actual tree that he might have seen at some point. As I was going in, I saw a spider web and I didn't really want to stay in there very long. Our late Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, was known to be fond of the area and the Queen and Prince Philip stopped by the inn at Whitewell in 2006 for her 80th birthday and had a celebratory lunch before visiting the nearby Burholm farm. For the Queen's first ever pub lunch, she had corn-fed chicken, cottage pie and apple crumble and some bottles of wine were ordered, but we don't know whether the Queen had a, a sip of wine or not. So we've just made a little stop, and we're, uh, where are we? Dunsop, is that, is that how you say it? Yeah, we're at a place called Dunsop Bridge, which is in the Ribble Valley, uh, in the Forest of Boland. And it says it's in the centre of the UK, so in the direct centre. So I've just had a photograph taken out for a little sign, and we've just stopped at a little tea room for uh, bacon. A, for you, yeah, you had a bacon and egg sandwich, didn't you? We had sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, it was really delicious. Uh, a little tea shop called Puddle Ducks, and now we're just going to have a little explore around. Uh, around the bridge uh, called Dunsop Bridge. So let's have a look. Well, can you see the little duck coming towards us under the bridge? Yeah. That's very cute. If you decide to come to Dunsop Bridge, you can bring some food for the ducks and you'll be very popular. These little ducklings were very cute and there's a little girl feeding them with her mom. So we've just stopped in a place called Newton, uh, close to Dunsop Bridge, because we saw this beautiful field of tulips. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah, so I thought we'd just stop and take a little shot of that. It's very pretty. Really like them. Yeah. Tulips is your favourite, isn't it? Yeah.
Our final stop today was at Cromwell's Bridge. It's named after Oliver Cromwell who marched his army over the bridge on the way to Walton Le Dale to fight in the Battle of Preston in 1648. He was said to have marched over with 8,000 of his troops. It crosses the River Hodder near Hurst Green and is obviously no longer in use. The bridge is also part of the Tolkien Trail. That is places that J.R.R. Tolkien visited on his trips to Lancashire when he was staying at Stonyhurst College and while he was writing the book Lord of the Rings. The bridge may have played an inspiration for some of the bridges described in his books. Thanks for joining us and watching our video today. If you enjoyed it, please press the thumbs up button, it really helps our channel. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, press the subscribe button. Take care guys, bye bye. bye.